Oh man, you're going against Protoss's name Zerg, and now you're going against Dirty Player? Yeah, the filth is going on in the ladder, right? Yeah, man. You really are just swimming through the sewer, aren't you? Yeah, somehow I'm meeting some down the road. I'm like, oh, you're in here too? <laughs> so, on the right, bottom. On the top. Oh, go good. for it. Go on for it. On the bottom left. <laughs> on the Zerg player. No clan. It is dirty player. <laughs> At the top right as the red Protoss. He needs no introduction. You're looking at him. He's becoming infamous. Oh. It's Florencio. Florencio. With the Dank Dankcraft icon logo. Alright, so this one's a little different. You see the um I'm making a forge. Right? Got my yeah. gas. Now what do you see right here? Anything anything interesting? Uh, so... See my probe Let's in the see. middle? It's actually two probes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't even catch that. Yeah. I was gonna say, what's with the gas? <laughs> yeah, you'll find out. So, in most cases, this is the part where you get a blind spot. Oh, he saw that, I bet. If he was paying attention to that drone, he would have seen it, but... Yeah, but... I he, don't think he did. Here's the thing. Sometimes, if you think they see it, don't... Don't um don't lose your cool. Just check if yeah. he's reacting. Sometimes yeah. they don't see it. And uh, in most cases that drone doesn't come out. Normally that's not a common drone timing. Uh, so in most yeah, cases Yeah, I was gonna say, what is he doing with this? He's drone scouting. Yeah, which is very unusual, but nonetheless he is a dirty Zerg. So he could be Well he says his name is Dirty Player and he's sending um a hat. It could be a hat in ways to look for proxy stuff. Yeah. Or he was going to do some dirt on his own. So, here's a hidden probe on the bottom. I have the cannon rush contain, right? Which is going to yeah. try to take out the hatchery on the bottom. As I'm collecting some gas at the main base. And I'm going into a cybernetic core. Alright, nice, nice. That natural is not gonna stand. It's gonna have to evacuate. Yeah, he's trying to make some spine crawlers right now to try to. Yeah, you're gonna need at least one more cannon to win that fight. Yeah, right. I kind of saw that. I was like, yeah, but everything's kind of crunch on on resources, so I have to um, to get it based on what I'm seeing. And I'm like, is he committing? I'm like, yeah, he's starting to commit. I see. A spine crawler at the high ground, some lings are being used already. He wants to save this natural. Yeah, and he's gonna start getting high ground on you here soon. Yeah. So what do you what do you prioritize here? It looks like you're gonna lose these cannons. So Yeah, the objective shooting down the lings is the best thing to do. Yeah, you don't wanna there's too much DPS on that than the spine crawlers. So you gotta take care of yeah. those links first. Plus, you don't want the links to be the ones that are alive because they're gonna be messing with your with your um, scouting. They're gonna be messing with your expos or whatever you decide. Versus sp spine crawlers, yeah. you know, they're not gonna run around. You were still confident in being able to kill the natural. It was one of those where it's like normally Ooh, it's a right in time. Yeah, I got lucky right on that time. one. It, it, but it's kind of like a setup and a payoff. You set it up, and then later on you can decide to kill it with something else. And at least it's not going to take you longer. So, mm -hmm. that's what I call it, a setup and a payoff. Okay. So we rushed to a uh, dark shrine. So that's where our uh, gas went. Yeah. The, which in this case, small zergs go roach ravagers, go straight to your base, kill you, right? And very mm -hmm. little do they expect um, to have to go into some type of detection so early in the game. Exactly. Yeah, no, like, no Zerg is going to go quick layer after they break the contain. So easily, at least, with just lings and spines. Yeah, exactly. And now we got the proxy gateway coming down with a cannon as well, so... 
DT. Oh shit. man, can you imagine if you did like blink DT shield battery shit, dude? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Don't give me some ideas. I might start adding that would to be, this. That would be really good memes. I'll start adding some blink timing on this. I did say that, um, that I was thinking of doing this and then killing the only the layer and the tech and then going back and you know, recalling them back home, take an expansion and start going to Phoenix DTs, which oh, the that's Phoenix... that's a lot of dead drones. <laughs> yeah, Phoenix normally take the overseers oh, out. The spore. Oh. Kill that layer. Now for uh, uh, most Protoss players, if, you, if he doesn't have a layer tech, he can't get an overseer. So no. all he has is the uh, spore, which you sent Yeah, him. you really got him in a bind right now. He's in deep shit. <laughs> he doesn't have any creep spread, so he can't really quickly move his spore around either. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem right there for that particular. So now he's gonna lose his other layer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. You got him. Between a rock and a hard place. Yeah, he's he's he's. I don't a, think that he's you, on shit you got streak. it in the bag. Uh, and then he showed me his cards. He said, "Oh, there's a there's a leak." Over here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we must go over there. Yeah, I like this build. This is awesome. When you're feeling cheeky, you should definitely try and implement like a. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 That's the best. Oh man. He's such a dirty player that he's salty, but he also respects it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the best. Uh, it's always a beautiful one they respect. Yeah, that's a very crafty combination. Probe, stack, combination with cannon rush, combination with... Um,